Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, we might be able to get 20 videos this month. You know what I'm saying? I saw a comment that said, come back to YouTube. And I've been grinding and grinding and grinding. And not like that, you freaks. But I've been grinding with the videos. So make sure to smack that like button. Let's try to get 3,000 likes. It shows me you guys love and appreciate these videos. I'll continue to be on a roll here for you guys and also smack that like button if you guys do want that mother's day giveaway the ramabuchon i will be sending it up soon on my instagram so make sure to stay tuned for that but let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to by the way i see you panchito your spanish is getting so much better i mean my critiquita critiquita uh critica i brought my handy dandy stater brother shirt if you know you know you know what i'm saying if you're an og triple ogs now did you guys see what let's do makeup also known as tinkerbell also known as quesadilla now i just found out that her last name was quesadilla <laughs> oh, 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 oh. and i know it's gonna be a chia it's not quesadilla it's quesada quesada quesadilla quesadilla whatever the fly in dublin i didn't know her name was similar to a damn quesadilla so now we have three nicknames for her you know what i'm saying but i kind of like tinkerbell but quesadilla sounds just as firme as tinkerbell you see what i mean but aside from that also her buddy buddy laura medagin from colombia now she's both of them are basically suing their old partner pika pika now if you guys didn't know they used to promote pika pika like a fly in dublin they love the gusanitos that came with it until the gusanos weren't paying back so if you guys didn't see we got this sent privately you know what i'm saying allegedly about how uh you know they're both suing the company the company owner named amanda because she wasn't paying some sort of fees or whatever and this happened My so you can see here that the group laura medellin an individual and leslie quesadilla an individual is suing pica pica texas snacks amanda castillo and if you see here on the right hand side complaint for damages breach of contract common count account stated open book account quantum mccurry unjust enrichment so the complaint is a legal action filed by rebel management group llc laura medellin and leslie quesadilla against pica pica Amanda and Eusebio. The plaintiffs alleged breach of contract, common count, count stated open book, yada, yada, yada. The complaint details a business relationship between the parties where the plaintiffs as social medias were hired to promote the defendant's food slash company through social media posts. Despite performing their obligations, the defendants failed to pay the plaintiffs the sum of 441 thou wow for the services rendered from December to July 2023. So the plaintiffs seek damage, interest, cost of suit, and other relief deemed by proper by the court. So they allegedly had a business relationship partnership, and now Laura Medellin and Leslie are suing her for allegedly breach of contract, and now she has to pay four hundred and forty-one thousand. So after looking more into the documentation, it says here that they're owed a total of four hundred forty-one thousand, but Laura Medellin is owed one hundred and seventy-one thousand. Wow! And if you look at Miss Leslie Quesadilla, she's owed two hundred and seventy thousand for the services provided through their management company rebel for the total balance of 441,000. so if you guys want to read here all the causes of actions of what they're exactly suing for for the 441,000, the amount for the legal fees for the court fees etc etc and the interest fees that they have gotten over time so after reading more into the documentation something that i found shocking was on information and belief defendants opened a new retail store for their products and allocated their funds to the new venture rather than pay the plaintiffs that was owed to them pursuant to the contractual engagements now despite many attempts to resolve the matter prior to insinuating legal proceedings defendants have ignored plaintiffs demands for payment causing the filing for an instant action so make sure to comment down below what do you guys think about the whole pica pica situation in my opinion i never got the candies because i remember they added extra flavor with some gusanitos or something like that so i was never interested in it but they're now getting sued by their partners make sure to comment down below now when i seen that amount i said sacate los oh and i mean sacate los ojos 441 that wow <laughs> She said, I gotta pay for this wedding. And pica pica, te voy a picar el dinero. And I said, ¿Qué? 
Now, basically, like I said, if you guys didn't read or listen to anything that I said earlier in the clips, they're suing her for 441000 They breached contract. They weren't paying. She wants them to pay for the lawyer fees, the court fees, whatever, any flagging Dublin fee they can find. Pika Pika will be the one to be paying for it. But make sure to comment down below. What do you guys think about this whole situation? To me, it's kind of strange because, like I said, they were buddy buddies and it appears they're still following each other. If someone was suing me for that amount, I don't follow your ass real quick, real quick, zero to 100. And then also I saw must be Cindy did comment too, because remember, she used to get backlash when she called out initially Pika Pika, but now Laura Medallin and, and, and Leslie the Quesadilla are both calling her out. So was must be Cindy right about this damn company Pika Pika? I'm not too quite sure, but make sure to comment down below. But speaking of must be Cindy, now I just wanted to give a little brief summary of what happened yesterday because I feel like there's a lot going on. I was just kind of being the mediator. I was being the, the Dr. Phil, Dr. Panchito. Uh, like in conclusion though, about the whole situation with them, I don't think any mom should come on social media and bash nobody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, there has to be a certain level of respect and for them to do that and the mom to say that they're dead to her, that was crazy to me. I don't like families fighting regardless of me doing cheese, man. You know what I'm saying? Families are always families at the end of the day uh, i really don't think they should have brought it to social media but i really do hope that they do get the help that they need you know what i'm saying i asked the mom in the interview yesterday if you guys missed it i interviewed both of them so check that out yesterday i asked the mom if she was willing to do a, a therapy and she said she was but cindy said that she wasn't i'm not too quite sure but what i do know is that they need family therapy and i do hope and I pray that in the future they can rekindle. You know what I'm saying? I know right now they're talking out of anger, saying that you're dead to me, yada, yada, yada. But I do hope in the future that something can happen where they can really figure out the problem, the solution, and become a family. Yay. And also, if you guys didn't see the next topic that we're going to be talking about, now, Yvette, I think her cousin... Ivet or something, Nasha, Nasha, Yvette, whatever, allegedly got a new boyfriend, but the new boyfriend's already getting exposed. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It wasn't even 24 hours, and this happened. My Did anyone else be see this? One had already been her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So I did part time modeling back then. Like, known him and I knew her. Well, he has seen me. I have seen her, yeah. I didn't know specifically, but I've seen her throughout um, Instagram, social media. Now, allegedly, the new boyfriend that she was trying to show to the world was with his ex while he was with the Nasha girl, whatever her name is, Nachos, whatever the flying dude her name is. And people were coming out, girls were coming out saying they reached out to her and that she didn't listen. I'm not too quite sure, but make sure to comment down below what do you guys think about the whole situation. And did you guys see for the world news out in Dubai? It appears that it's flooding. My Also, I'm just kind of curious. Do I have anybody from Dubai that watches me? Do I have any rich sugar mama tias? If you are a rich sugar mama tia, hit me up. I will be your sugar baby. I just do not provide the sugar. But other than that, I will be your sugar baby. But aside from that, it appears that it's flooding. I didn't even know that it could flood in Dubai like that. That was kind of crazy to see. Is the world ending? Oh, but make sure to comment down below. My prayers to everybody out there. Make sure to smack that like button. Please don't be stingy. 3,000 likes. It shows me you guys appreciate these videos and you guys really do miss me on YouTube. And the Ramabuchon giveaway is coming really soon. Soon, and I really do appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm.